Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, thank you for watching. So the reason I'm starting today's video in my closet is because Today's video is all about my favourite denim jeans. Um, if you've seen any of my styling hauls, you'll know that I am obsessed with denim and just a really good pair of jeans. So I definitely have a slight obsession with buying denim. As you can see here, I have a drawer just full of jeans. I mean, this is just one of them. I actually have two of these drawers. It is a little bit silly that I have this many, but I'm going to put them to good use today. So I've decided that what I would do is pick out my ultimate favourite pairs from my denim collection, and I'm going to show you guys the ones that I love basically just hoping this is kind of going to be a bit of a denim buying guide because I do know that buying jeans can be a little bit of a nightmare and you know it's always just good to see them on and on someone sort of moving so I'm really hoping that you guys find this video useful just before I start trying them on I just wanted to say that I am five for eight I know that height is really important when it comes to buying jeans especially looking in the looking at them on a model on the website I struggle to buy my jeans a lot of the time because models tend to be about five foot six I love the way the jeans look on them and then I think to myself, it's not going to look like that on me. So hopefully by knowing my height, you guys will be able to use it as a bit of a guide. Most of the jeans in today's video do come in different leg lengths, so you can obviously buy the leg length that is perfect for yourself. I'm going to shut up now and um, show you guys some of my favourite jeans. So this first pair of jeans, these are from H&M. These are my absolute go-to staple, just like if you want a really good fitting straight leg. I'd say they are like a mum jean style. As you can see, they're such a good denim colour. They are, as I said, just a really, really good pair of jeans. They fit so well. They're actually a really comfortable pair of jeans to wear as well. Wearing these in a size 10, there is like quite a lot of room around the waistband of these. As you can see, sort of if I pull it out, there's like quite a lot of like space, but they don't feel like, I don't know, it's weird. They don't feel really loose on me, um, even though they are, they just fit so nicely because there is nothing worse. I know we've all been there. When you put on a pair of jeans and like sitting down and them is just uncomfortable because it cuts into you um, and all that sort of stuff. So these are honestly such a good pair of jeans. I absolutely love these ones and they are a really good length. Considering that H&M jeans don't come in leg lengths, I do like the length of these. As you can see, they look particularly good with boots. Possibly a little bit too short for myself to wear them with trainers, but I do love wearing these jeans with boots. And then I thought for each pair of jeans, I would just put in a little mirror picture here of the jeans in the mirror, because you guys know I love my mirror selfies in my hauls. So just so you guys can see them sort of a different way. So these jeans are actually recently newer to my wardrobe. So these are from New Look, and they are the most perfect flared denim jean. I feel like when you find a really good fitting pair of flared jeans, they make you look like you've got the longest legs ever. So these are the tall ones, but obviously New Look do regular and tall. So I'm wearing these in a size eight, but that's because I feel like with flared jeans, you want them to fit really nice and like snugly around your like waist and your bum and all that sort of stuff. So I would say if you are in between sizes, you probably want to go for a bigger, like the bigger version of the sizes you're in between. But I honestly, I'm obsessed with the fit of these. They are just so nice. And as you can see, they just look so nice with a good pair of like black boots. And I love the length of these ones because I feel like flares should be almost touching the floor that's just how they look their best and also as you can see just makes your legs look so long and so here is a little picture of these ones in the mirror so you guys can see i think you'll agree with me the nicest thing about these ones is they're flared but they're not too flared so if like me you're not into a super flared jean these are just a dream so next up i've got some baggier jeans so these are the pretty little thing boyfriend jeans i love these ones they are just such a good fit i love all the little like denim rips in them as well and i like that they're they're ripped but they're not too extremely ripped i'm not like a su super massive fan of those like heavily ripped jeans but i love just like a few little rips here and there these ones honestly fit so well so these ones again i'm wearing in a 10 i feel like when you go for boyfriend jeans or like a baggy jean you want them to fit like kind of loosely they just look a bit better than when they're a bit tighter again because of that they are so comfortable they really are just such a comfortable pair of jeans and these just look great styled with pretty much like anything so as you can see here i just literally put on a leather jacket i'm wearing the um green nike air jordans with this so i mean there's literally no effort at all to that it's just a leather jacket with a black body but i think because the jeans are so like baggy and the fit's just so good it just they just make such a cool outfit so i'm hoping you guys will agree with me that these are really good jeans 
And so as always, here is a full length mirror picture of those jeans so that you guys can see. So these next jeans are, I think they're ASOS 90s jeans or 90s fit or something like that. So the reason I want to show you guys these ones are because ASOS are so good at leg length. So I know that the sort of really long, super slouchy at the bottom here, you know how they sort of fit like really baggy over the trainer. That's so in right now. And I feel like to get that look, you basically need to buy a pair of jeans that is a leg length, if not two leg lengths longer than your standard length to get that look. So ASOS is so good for that. So for example, these I think are a waist 28 and I think they're a length 36, which is, I mean, I'm about a length, ideally I'm like a length 33, but that doesn't really exist. So ideal for me is length 34. So this is probably one leg length longer than my standard normal leg length. But as you can see, you then get that really sort of slouchy bottom sort of jean situation. This colour in particular is so nice in spring, sort of spring, summer. So I love these ones and they do fit really, really well. But these do come up small. So again, if you are in between sizes, go for your like the bigger end of the sizes. And so here is a full length of these jeans in the mirror so that you guys can see. So another pair of super slouchy jeans that I absolutely love. So these are the ASOS Collusion. I think they're called dad jeans. As you can see, they are really baggy. I love these. I just think they're such a cool fit. These you could actually get in two different sizes. So I'm wearing these ones in a size 10. They are quite baggy around my waist, but that's because as you can see, I like almost wearing them like a little bit lower um, and just sort of having that sort of room to sort of move them up, you know, like up and down. Um, I just think when you are going for like a dad jean there's something nice about them looking sort of just like really oversized but if you want them to fit a bit more sort of like tightly around the waist so obviously I've got like that sort of space at the back there I could have got these in a waist 26 um, so it really just depends I think jeans that's the main thing to remember with jeans is that you don't always have to get your exact size. Sometimes if you want them to fit a certain way, that's when you sort of maybe get them in a size that's possibly a little bit different from your normal size. Um, but yeah, I just love these ones. And they're made of a really soft denim, so they feel really nice to wear. And then here is a mirror picture of those jeans so that you guys can see. So these next jeans, I am really excited to show you. So these are from Weekday. And as you can see, they're different because they've got this sort of like V-shaped um, fastening. So where the button does up and the zip, which just makes them a little bit different from some of my other jeans. I absolutely love them. It is obviously does mean that they sort of fit. They're like a high low rise because this bit does up obviously quite low. This bit's obviously a little bit higher. But I just think the shape of them is so nice. So I'll just show you guys the length of these. So this is the length on me. I mean, I would love these jeans to be just that little bit longer, but you know, I can't have everything. Um, so obviously if you aren't as tall as me, these will look great sort of with trainers. I tend to wear these ones with boots just because as you can see, they're not as long on me. Um, but I just love the fit of them. And as I say, because of the sort of V shape waistline, they're just a really cool sort of pair of jeans. These also look great sort of tucked into like an oversized white shirt. Um, I just love them. And so here is a picture of these ones in the mirror so that you guys can see them. So I feel like it wouldn't be a denim styling haul if I didn't put in some Zara denim. So these are, I feel like they're the bootleg jeans. Um, as always, I'll just link them below. I can't remember all the names of all the different jeans because they've been in my wardrobe for a while. But I love these. Zara jeans have actually gotten so much better. I remember when they were so short and so small, I would honestly steer clear from buying denim from Zara. Literally, like you couldn't even pay me money to buy jeans from there. But I feel like they've gotten so much better. And I think because obviously that slightly longer length jean is just more in now. It's just for tall people, it's become a dream to buy jeans. It's just so much easier. But I love these ones. I love the blue. I think they're such a nice colour blue. They fit so nicely. These are in a size 10. Um, I think with all Zara jeans, go for your slightly, the bigger end of sizes because they do come up smaller. But I absolutely love these. I think they are so nice. And they actually look great with trainers as well. These, I just decided to put them on with boots just to show you guys what they look like with boots. But no, I do love these ones. And so as always, here is a full length of those jeans in the mirror so that you guys can see. So then lastly, I just wanted to show you guys a pair of black denim jeans that I absolutely love. So these are, again, I think these are the ASOS 90s jeans. So they're similar to that other pair that I tried on. But I love a pair of black jeans for the evening. So these ones are a little bit longer. Again, I get these in a leg length 36. So I love wearing these with heels. I think when you are wanting to wear your jeans with heels, they just look so good when they are a little bit longer. So these ones fit quite loosely around my waist. I just put on a little bra here just to show you guys the fit of 
with these ones just so you can see but I like the fact that they are a bit looser around my waist because it does make them really, really comfortable. And especially, I do like to wear sort of crop tops and things like that with my jeans. So I think there's something quite nice about when the jeans are a little bit looser when you wear a crop top because there's nothing worse is there when, you know, the jeans are tighter and then you've got a crop top on and you feel like everything's sort of digging in. The shirt, by the way, is from Pretty Little Thing. I love the shirt. I'm literally obsessed with it. It's just such a great little chuck on shirt. And then here is a full length of those jeans in the mirror so that you guys can see. So there we go guys, they are all the jeans that I have to show you in today's video. As I said um, at the beginning of this, I really hope that you found this useful and maybe it's going to inspire some of your future jean purchases. I will of course link everything below with the sizes of everything and all that kind of stuff so you've got all the information below the video. But as always, thank you all so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this one and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!